Hi, champs. Welcome back again to all of you in the Anuja Sunday live session. And today in the stretch series, we are going to make a shop app. So as you can see on the screen, in the shop app, there is a shopkeeper with the counter. And on the counter, there is a shop name, like a sports ball shop. And in the shop, there are different items with their price. And as you click on the items, their price value will be transferred into the card value. And when you want to purchase all the items, just click on the shopkeeper, pay your bill and take all the items with your house. And to do it, so in today's session, we are going to use the, all these blocks and the operators. Like if else conditional block, ask blocks, variables for storing the price value and also the join operator for seeing the thank you and different messages. So we will see the during making the shop app inside the scratch editor. So the shop app, which we are going to make today will look something like this. So as I said earlier, there is a shopkeeper with the counter and also there are the different items with their price value and also the cart icon. So the cart value will change as you click on the items based on their price. So like the earlier, we are going to divide this project into the two parts. The first one is stage decoration, where we will decorate the stage by adding the backdrop and the sprites. And then we will write the code for animating all the sprites. So first come on the scratch editor and add a backdrop will look something like it. Scratch.mit.tdu Click on create. And if you are logged in, then you can rename your project from untitled, some number to shop app. And now, first of all, delete this cat sprite because we are not going to use this in today's shop app. And first of all, add a backdrop which will look similar to this so for adding the backdrop click on this option for choosing a backdrop just search the one okay so this is the backdrop with the name of wall one click on the wall one for adding it on the stage now come again on the slides and see the next step. And now add all the balls with their price. So again, go to the scratch editor, search all the balls and add it on the stage. And then we will add the price on the balls. For this, come on the sprites area. Take your mouse on this option, click on it. Now just in the search bar, search the balls. Search the ball. So click on all the balls, one by one. Baseball, and now, Basketball. Beach ball. Soccer ball and also the tennis ball. So add all the balls on the stage. Yeah. And now change the size of the balls so that it looks nice also reposition all of them change the size of the ball from 100 to 120 
and there is no need to change the size of the baseball for the basketball do the same from 100 to 120 and reduce the size of the beach ball from 100 to 90 also change the size of the soccer ball from 100 to 120 and for the tennis ball just change it from 100 to 150 and now reposition all of them on the stage And now we need to add the price on the box. So click on each sprite, then click on the costume section on the left hand side. Now for adding the text, click on the text option, click on the sprite and just write the text which you want to add. Like for this, the price value of this ball is 50 rupees. Change the size. Change the color also. Copy it. So then it will be easy to write. Copy this and for selecting it, click on the select tool. Click on it and then copy it using the copy option. And then now it will be easy to write the price on the rest of the box. So just go there, click on the sprite and just click on the paste. Now change the color of this one from white to black. So it will be readable. Now change the price value from 150 to 8. Do the same for all the balls. Go there, select the sprite, click on the paste, change the price value. If you want to reduce the size, then just do it. Select the sprite paste, change the color and also the price value. I'm not changing the price in the beach ball. So for selecting all the elements of the sprite, just drag the cursor around the sprite. Now paste it, change the color and also the price. Do the same for the tennis ball also. So first convert it into the vector for editing it. Click on the select, select the sprite, click on the paste. That's it. Now we are done by adding all the balls with their price. So come again on the slides. Now see the next step. And now we need to add a short keeper with the counter. As you can see on the screen. Okay. So now add another sprite for the shopkeeper. For the shopkeeper, for the sports ball shop, the searcher sportsman. And here I'm choosing picture. 
to change the costume. To the last one. Uh, which is picture D. And for adding the counter, again click on it. So either add another sprite or just edit the costume. So here I'm editing the costumes and instead of adding the another sprite. So for adding the counter, search the button. Yeah, copy it. So first select it all the elements of this sprite by dragging the cursor around the button. Now copy, go to the picture D and paste it there. Just click on the paste. And this one we are going to use as a counter. And now, group all the elements of this costume so again click on the select button drag your cursor for selecting all the elements and click on the group for grouping all the elements together and now come here and you can change the size from 100 to 200 or 150 which will look good So now the stage is ready or the shop is ready with the shopkeeper and the counter also. So come again on the slides and see the next option. See the next option. See the next step. So now we need to add two card bags. So where the one card will show every time and the second one will only when you purchase the item. So just add a two spray. For the card. So again come on the scratch editor. And now we are going to draw in our own spray. Now click on the paint click on this rectangle tab draw a rectangle click on the drop down arrow of the fill and change it to the gradient And now drop a bit as a bag. Change the width of the brush. Change the color for drawing. And just draw Now again click on the select tool, drag the cursor around all the elements, group all the elements and copy it because we are going to use the same bag for the second sprite also. So again click on this option, click on paint and paste it here. So now change the size of the first one from 100 to 50 or 80. 
and this will be there always. And now when we will start the game, this one will be in the height mode. So first change the size from 100 to 90. And write the code for this one. Click on it. So when black click, hide this sprite. Go to the look section, drag the height block. That's it. So whenever we will start the game, it will be in the height. So now we are done by decorating the stage by adding the all the items, shopkeeper, counter, and also the card back. And now come on the coding part. So for the coding part, first of all, add two variables. One for the shop name and the another one for the total value of your car. So come on the scratch editor, go to the variable section, make two variables, one with the name, another one with the total. So hide the total from the state so and take it. And change the read out. From normal to large. And just change the position of this total variable from the top left corner to over the back. So first change the size of the back. From 90 to 100. No, no, no. This is 90, okay. We need to change the size of this one from 50 to 70. Or 60. Yeah, it's funny to okay. Change the size from the 50 to 60. Yeah. Now the two variables are ready also. So now whenever I'm click on the flag, it will hide this sprite and also set the name value. To sports ball shop. We need to add the total variable over the back with the large read out format. And the name one over the counter. So just click on the flag and it will be changed from zero to sports virtual. We position it. That's it. So now we are done also by creating the two variables. Now come on the slides and see the next step. Now we need to change the card value based on the item selection with the sum. So as well as we will click on the items, the card value should be changed based on the selection of the item. And also there will be a little bit sound. Come on the scratch editor, change the value of this variable based on which value. So if I will click on this first ball, go to the event section, drag when this is sprite click, change the total variable value. By 50, for the price value of this item is 50. Do the same for all the items in the shop. So just drag the code from one sprite to another sprite for copying.
and now you just change the value based on their price. Change the value of this one. Change the value of this one from by eighty, by hundred, by fifty, by hundred. And also the value of this one by 50. Now we also need to write a code for making a little bit sound. For this, go to the sound section. Click on choose the sound. And here I'm choosing the elect. I like piano. To add the sound in all these sprites, all the items in sprite, and add it in the code. And I left piano sound, and now in the code. Now add it in the sprite. So we are done by adding the sound for all the items. So now whenever you will click on the sprite, so first click on the flag icon. Whenever you will click on the sprite, the card value will be changed and there will be sound. And now also need to write the code. Whenever you will click on the flag, just change the price, the total variable value to zero. So go to the variable section, set total to zero. Yeah. So now come again on the slide. See the next step. We are done by changing the card value based on the item selection with the sound. And now we need to write the script for the shopkeeper. So after selecting all the items, if you are going near to the shopkeeper for paying your bill, so first the shopkeeper will check if there is any item in the card or not. If there is any item, then it will ask, would you want to pay or not? Else, it will say, first select some item. Then it will ask if you want to pay or not. If you will say pay, then it will give you a back with all the items. As it will say, okay, no problem. So come on the scratch editor, write the code in the same way for the shopkeeper. So go to the event section, click on when this sprite click. So this will check the card value first. So go to the control section, drag the if else block and check the card value. So first go to the operator section, drag the greater than operator. Because the card value is saving under the total variable. So if the total is greater than zero, then it will ask to go to the sensing section for asking some question. Would you like 
Uh, would you like to pay or cancel? And if the card value is not greater than zero, then it will say first, you select some items. And after some time, we add a little bit of delay, like 0.5. So this will say for 1.5 second and after 1.5 second it will say next customer reach for 1.5 second also so earlier we are asking would you like to pay or cancel so now if the customer is saying yes or saying pay, so we need to compare both of the answer. So answer is going to save in the answer variable. Again, go to the control section, drag the if else. And if the answer is equal to pay or yes, So drag this or operator block and under this drag this assignment object. So if the answer is equal to yes, or answer is equal to pay. Okay, so before asking, would you like to pay or cancel? It will tell you your card value. So above this, just add a statement for saying the total card value is total. And then a total so this will say for 1.5 second and for joining the two things together go to the operator section drag the join block join in the first block of the join just write this one in the second one just add the total value so first it will say the total card value is something this. Then it will ask, would you like to pay or cancel? And if the answer is equal to yes or answer is equal to pay, then it will broadcast a message for taking a bank. Go to the event section, broadcast back. And if this message is received by the bag, then it will appear for a second. So when I receive bag, show for one second, we add a delay of one second, then hide the spike. So again, go to the looks, drag the hide block. And then it will say thank you for shopping. So go to the look section, drag the save law, say thank you for shopping at shopping. So again, go to the operator section, drag the join block, 
sein. So we'll say thank you for shopping at and shop name in the second block of the join operator, which is inside the name variable. And after a point five second, to go to the control section, drag the weight block, change the value from point to point five. And now it will say next customer page. Go to the loop section, drag save. Now it will say next customer page. Okay. The first thing this one, look at the code is going big. As it will say, no problem. Thank you. If you don't want to pay, so go to the look section. Say. No problem. Thank you. And after 1.5 second or 0.5 second, it will say again next customer page. Go to the look section again, the next customer page. Okay, so first zoom out it, change to the default view, and now click on the flag icon for seeing the changes or doing some changes based on the animation. So first of all, start the game, click on the items which you want to buy. The card value is going to change based on the selection of the item. And now after selecting all the items, I want to pay for it for buying. So go to the shopkeeper. It will say your total card value is 330 rupees. And would you like to pay or cancel? So I'm saying pay. So it will provide a bag with all the items and it will say thank you for shopping. So come again on the slides and see what we need to do next. So that's all for today's session. See you soon on the next. Bye. Thank you so much.